In this video, I'll show you how to set up retro achievements on XBSX 2.0. So one of the features missing from the original release of XBSX was the inclusion of retro achievements. Retro achievements were added to PS2 games back in October 2022, and for those of you that are interested in them, like myself, they are just a fun way to get more out of your old PS2 gaming experience. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get them enabled on Xbox Series X and S. So let's dive in. Now, before we dive in, this guide is a continuation of my XBSX 2.0 install guide. So if you haven't gotten XBSX 2.0 installed and need help doing so, link to this guide will be in the description below for you to follow. That way you can get your retro achievements enabled and up and running. Next, you are going to need a retro achievements account. So you can head over to retroachievements.org and get signed up to get an account. So just an example here is my account. I've played a number of games on this now. But you can check which games are compatible with Retro Achievements for PS2 by going to the game section here and clicking on PlayStation 2. And as you can see, there are a number of supported games. A lot have been added since October. So you just need a game that supports Retro Achievements and you're pretty much set after you have your account made. Now over on your Xbox, get booted into XBSX 2.0 and head down to the Settings tab. From here, press your right or left bumper to head over to the Achievement Settings and then enable achievements. Now from here, just scroll down to the bottom where you can log into your Retro Achievements account and enter your username and password. And once entered, just press A on login. And there we go. You will now have a login token generated for your XBSX 2.0 install. And at any point you can log out if desired. But there's a number of options we can enable for our Retro Achievements here, so the first one being Rich Presence, so this will show you what you're doing on the Retro Achievements website if it is enabled. So just as a quick example right here when it shows what I'm doing in Metal Gear Solid, Rich Presence is enabled, so it's able to tell me a bunch of information about the game I was playing, and if you have friends and stuff, they can keep track of what you're doing. Next up we have Hardcore Mode, so this lets you play games the way they were originally meant to be played, so you lose out on things like save states, cheats, slowdowns, but it gains you access to the hardcore mode achievements, which are worth more points, as well as access to leaderboards and other uh, challenge tracking, which isn't available if it is off. So personally, I like this one. And once the option is enabled, you see that it enables leaderboards. So if you want to be part of leaderboard tracking, you can choose to enable or disable that here. Next up, show notifications. So if you are playing through a game and unlock an achievement, it'll show a notification as well as leaderboard notifications. If you don't want those, you can turn them off. Sound effects. Turn that on or off, it just plays a noise when you unlock an achievement. Show challenge indicators, I really like this one. It lets you know on screen if you are at a point where you can earn a retro achievement that is challenge based and it will disappear if you mess up that challenge. So it's kind of a cool little indicator that I really enjoy. And then our next two options are more for development of retro achievements more than anything if you ask me, but they let you test unofficial achievements and then test mode, it just keeps all achievements locked, doesn't send anything to the servers. But that does it for our retro achievement settings. So once you have everything set up in here how you desire, you can just head out to your games list, load up a supported title. So let's go ahead and grab Metal Gear Solid 3 here. And when you load up the game, you'll see a notification about the achievements that are available. But once you are in gameplay, you are able to go ahead and check achievement progress and status anytime you want by going into your in-game menu and clicking A on the achievements button here. So there we go. So it'll show you your progress, your locked achievements, your unlocked achievements. So I've unlocked a good deal of stuff on Metal Gear Solid 3, but there we go. So very convenient. It's all built into itself and I really enjoy it. And it's also pretty cool that it shows you your statuses down there in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Not sure if it's supposed to look like that, but hey, it works. But with that, you now have retro achievements set up and ready to go on your XBSX 2.0 install. Again, I really like retro achievements. I think they are a fun way to breathe new life into the games that you enjoy playing without any necessary ROM hacks or other things like that. Like you could just go through, re-experience these classics, maybe find a new secret or two you didn't know about before and just see what happens and how many points you could get. And I just think it's a lot of fun. I'm, I've always been a big achievement whore. But thank you so much as always for watching today's video. I hope it helps you get your achievement runs up and running on XBSX 2.0. Now here at the video, I do have a couple of favors to ask. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit that like dislike button, depending on how much you like today's tutorial, as well as that sub button and notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads of content always coming your way and I'd love to have each and every one of you along for the ride. 
For anyone interested in further helping support the channel and keep it going, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. A little goes a long way to keeping this place up and running and bringing all of this content directly to you. Big shout out to all of our current champions. Thank you so much for believing in what we do here and helping us keep it going. You are all so amazing and we could not do it without you. Thank you so much for your generosity. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.